Range fans and the Reloaders Network, I'm back on the 22-yard line. That's right, back on the 22 rimfire range at the 50-yard line. But this time, I got a little something special. Nope, not the rifle, not the rifle, folks. But we'll give you a little bit of an overview. This is a Ruger 1022 takedown. There's been a lot of controversy over the accuracy. Uh, someone that I have with me today asked for this as a Christmas gift a while back, many years ago, and, and we built this thing. It came in a, a regular stock, but we put a Barracuda stock on it. And uh, it has a, let's see here, four, yeah, it's a four to 16 Hawk scope. And also we've got a Gemtech. 22 suppressor out here on the end. Let me introduce you to that special someone that came out with me today. Zen Master on the Rimfire 22 challenge. And I'm calling out my sister so that she can get her butt out here. Recording. to the next target, take your time. Best shot. Well, sis, those weren't as good as I wanted them to be, but check these next ones out. down to the next row of targets. Great shooting, son. Best group with the Ely Semi-Auto Precision, bottom left, at 1.222 MOA, 0 0.64 inches. That's right, folks. Mr. Revolver Guy here, and out on the range today with my son on a beautiful, gorgeous day shooting the Mr. Revolver Guy 22 Challenge. He wanted to come out today and challenge his sister, who's been a little lazy as of late and getting out. She's too busy for us anymore. But anyways, he was shooting in his 10-22, as you saw, with the semi-auto 22 long rifle precision. Someone on dayattherange.com wanted to know exactly how good it would be in a semi-auto. So that's what we showed. But now I'm gonna join my buddy Jerry in the vintage challenge with a Marlin 81DL. I cleaned it thoroughly last night, so I really have no idea how this thing's gonna shoot or where it's gonna print, but we're gonna give it a run. And I've got three different brands of ammo. I've got the SK Long Range, you've seen the semi-auto Ely, 
And then I also have some Center X. I'm gonna test all three off target and off camera and then shoot my best groups with the best ammunition. Be right back. All right, Jerry, I couldn't leave you alone in the vintage category. I got my Marlin 81 DL out here with the same vintage scope. This is a Tasco three to nine, so nothing really special. It's got a side mount and I'll, I'll flip in a little how this thing's mounted, but this thing's actually mounted to the side and I had to dig all over the place to find a scope mount for it. It's so old. And by the way, I do have the original uh, rear sights with it, which are peep sights. But um, this rifle is from 1941, folks. That's right, Jerry, 1941. Uh, so let's get some rounds down range with Center X and the revolver guy, 22 challenge. Sissy, Elijah called you out on his Ruger 10-22. I don't even think you have it anymore. I think you're a lightweight anymore nowadays. You used to be the best shot in the family. Well, I'm gonna try it out with my Marlin 81 DL. Bolts really stiff on this thing. Good gracious. By the way, folks, <laughs> this trigger is ten pounds. This is all factory. Nothing's done to this rifle. 10 pound trigger. This is probably the hardest trigger I have in uh, any rifle that I own. Ridiculous. Probably was great for 1941. Woo, two big flyers in that group. Man. I've got to beat Jerry Marshall. I'll never be able to live it down. But this challenge is about fun and bragging rights, folks. That group's not too bad. I got five more rounds left in the tube. I'm gonna shoot this last shot. These last group. I'm making excuses, folks, but I've never felt the trigger so hard. Actually making my fingers sore a little. I know one thing, still a critter getter if I had to depend on it.
All right. Now that group's not so bad. Well, I tell you, I'm pretty impressed with the old Marlin 81DL from 1941. No idea, folks, how many rounds this barrel has through it, but I can tell you it looks pristine. I've had it now, I, I guess, about 15 years now, um, and pretty proud of it, pretty proud of the way it shot. So let's get home and look at Zen Master's target and also compare it to my target, and let's get them all ranked. Now, Eagle Eye, this is for you, buddy. I'm calling you out. Can't wait until you see till you get that scope mount to see you out here on the 22 Rimfire range. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out. Smallest group with the Marlin 81DL from 1941. Top right target at 1.314 MOA, 0.688 inches.